Yesterday was World Family Doctor Day and it takes place every 19th of May and this year the theme is Family Doctors on the Front Line, First In, Last Out. In Ghana the country specific theme is Role of Frontliners, Family Physicians in the Management of COVID-19 Pandemic at the Primary Care Level. They've lined up a lot of activities to mark this day including continuous professional development sessions for doctors. Uh, on four topics all related to COVID-19. So let's have a conversation with uh, with them now. Dr. Fred Bejra is a specialist family physician at the Konfanochi Teaching Hospital and a national organizer of the Society of Family Physicians of Ghana. He joins me via Zoom. Dr. Bejra, thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much and uh, good afternoon to you all lovely listeners so uh, we see you have some very interesting topics lined up Let, let's take a look t take us through the topics and how as frontline workers for you you're using this opportunity to uh help fight coronavirus okay thank you very much um support as you are aware is the society of family physicians of ghana and uh, we are the main frontline workers for uh, most of the conditions that um, we treat at our hosp at the hospital. Mm. So, 19th May every year is earmarked by the World Organization of Family Physicians to celebrate the Family Doctor Day. So this year, we decided to take time off to educate health workers and also the general public on some very key issues as far as COVID-19 is concerned. So uh, our first topic for yesterday's webinar was the unique Ghanaian experience. You know, COVID is a worldwide pandemic and uh, we want to explore what has been happening specifically in Ghana. And then we also looked at enhanced contact tracing and how that has helped in Ghana's fight against COVID-19. Then we also looked at the testing challenges we have. We already know that worldwide, one of the main or one of the key to uh, management of COVID cases is testing. It is believed that the more you test, the more likely you are going to uh, fight uh, the disease properly. So we looked at uh, enhanced contact tracing and also challenges in testing in Ghana. Then finally, we looked at the positive COVID patients and how the family physician can help in such cases. Thank you very much. I see. So let's wrap up with a look at the outcome. So in the webinar, you are essentially having an interactive session. What, what was some of the outcome? Did you get your colleagues to share their experiences in these very hard times as frontline workers with you? And would you be able to summarize that for us? Oh, definitely. It was a very fruitful discussion we had yesterday. And uh, most of the presenters are very experienced people who are working directly uh, in the front lines in the fight against COVID. For the unique situation in Ghana, we realize that we are not different from, we, you know, popular belief around has it that the virus is behaving differently in Ghana mm -hmm. and all. But we realize that it's the same as we have had elsewhere in the world. The people who we have lost in Ghana have similar comorbidity distributions as we have had elsewhere mm -hmm. in the world. Yeah. So we compare very well with the statistics worldwide. Then uh, one of our speakers, also a family physician, of course, who has had a huge experience with Ebola mm -hmm. uh, management in Liberia, talked about the enhanced contact tracing. This is a very unique experience from the management of the Ebola crisis in Liberia. And that has been used successfully in Liberia, and Ghana currently use that successfully to put the COVID infection spread under control. Okay. So uh, enhanced contact tracing is very important, and then uh, it was a very, very, very important intervention at that time. Okay. We also 
realized that family physicians, we have to engage family physicians more and more in the management of our COVID cases. Because beyond the discharge, when you discharge a COVID patient, you have to reintegrate into the family and into the society. And then you have to help these patients to fight the stigma and uh, all that's assisted with uh, being a, a post-COVID patient. So we realize that we shouldn't end at a discharge, but we should go beyond the discharge and properly reintegrate these people into the society. So how can we do this specific one? I mean, I don't know how different the work of a family physician is from your usual general practitioner. I don't know if you'll be able to highlight that for me briefly, but how will it work uh, as far as the role of, yeah, go ahead, please. So if you look at COVID, I'll just use COVID as an example. The fact that we have a COVID pandemic does not mean that there are people are not suffering from other diseases. True. So a family physician is specifically trained. It's a, it's, it's a specialist, it's a specialist training. And they have the skill to conduct comprehensive, coordinated, and continuous treatment for individuals in respect to the age, sex, or race. So it means that before COVID, you have a family physician taking a taking care of you. Now, in the consulting room, family physicians take care of undifferentiated cases. They don't know, they don't differentiate, they, 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 don't, uh, they don't differentiate between who to take care of or who not to take care of. So we make the diagnosis. We make the diagnosis of COVID and then transfer to the treatment centers where we still have family physicians who are subspecialized in infection, infectious disease, helping to take care of the COVID patient. And then beyond the treatment centers, when you discharge the patient from the hospital, the patient reverts to the family physician. So in this way, the family physician have, has provided comprehensive care, has coordinated with those at the treatment centers and other specialists like the um, intensivists and the uh, uh, intensive care unit specialists, and also has continued to take care of the patient after mm -hmm. the, the, the recovery. Okay. That is the role of the family physician, All providing right. comprehensive, continuous, and coordinated care. Very well. I, 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 I'll leave you, but before I go, I just want to find out from you if you can share your personal experience with us as a physician, as a, a family physician, how things have changed for you since coronavirus in your personal practice in your social relations uh, you know your relations with your family etc how has it changed well it's definitely not been the normal it's a new normal we are all in so personally you get up in the morning come to the hospital you have you have to make arrangements to have some distance from your immediate family. So when you get home, you don't just get to interact with your kids as you used to. And uh, because we see undifferentiated cases, we don't know who is in front of you. We don't know if this is a positive case or not. So the fear of getting infected is highest amongst uh, family physicians. And uh, it is the same. I've, I've had to go through it the same way. Unfortunately, the problem is most of the PPEs or the personal protective equipment are uh, distributed to the treatment centers and the COVID specific the COVID case management teams. The problem is for those centers, you know you are taking care of positive patients. But for us in the front line, you don't know who is in front of you you are now going to make the diagnosis. So the risk is higher amongst uh, family physicians. We are the same people who are doing the triages. So it's the same with me. Every day, I'd have to go in and then face similar risks. Thank you very much.
thank you will probably not be enough. I have lined up a couple of people who will be saying thank you right after this interview. And I really hope that uh, you'll be able to hear us. Uh, that if you're not at the moment glued to a set that will show you all that happens. Doc Vedra, thank you so much for your time this afternoon. And say thank you to your colleagues who are also holding the fort for us.